right, if y'all have been following my journey here, you know that twice a week I'm getting dessert. And it's Saturday, and Saturday's dessert night. Well, when I changed my menu, I changed my grocery order, I took my desserts off. So I was sitting over thinking, what did I want? And I thought, well, brownies sound good, but my scratch brownies are full of butter and sugar and I'm like well I don't she said I don't have to go sugar free uh, but that's still a little bit too much because I might want more than one I didn't even put it in the recipe builder because I mean come on a cup of sugar and a stick of butter <laughs> no so I am going to attempt for the first time to lighten up my normal brownies now David adores these brownies so he will be the ultimate um taste tester to tell if these pass the test if they're delicious or if they're just good enough to get a fix so they're real quick to mix up first thing i have in here is two eggs that i've already beaten and then instead of butter this is this is where i'm concerned because this is mostly water so i don't know how that will affect how they bake up but anyway eight tablespoons of that go ahead and get it melted and let it start cooling down a little bit because I didn't want to put it completely hot into the egg and start you know cooking on the eggs so the two eggs let me go ahead I'm going to use the monk fruit one cup of the monk fruit and I hope it bakes now, I've never baked with it like this uh, a big scale so I mean I put little dibs and dabs you know in things but I've never gone full on like in a brownie or cake or anything. So I hope it doesn't start to seize back up like it did on my chocolate syrup. If y'all made that, I put my update in there because I wanted you to know that after it set in the refrigerator, it got kind of crystally. But it does dissolve perfectly in milk. So it didn't affect milk. And then I put it over some ice cream and just stuck it in the microwave and it was fine. So... But I did want to put that disclaimer because that was the first time I had done that. One teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. Then we're just going to add our butter. I tell you, the real recipe, I call it the real recipe. This is a recipe too. But the real thing, they are so good. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Now, the only thing I do now, oh, there was something in that sugar. I thought I got it out. Hold on. I think it was a piece of the um, package. Hold on. Well, whoever gets that gets the. Oh, there, I got it. So I say you get the prize. So to this, a third a cup of cocoa powder. And you know what? As soon as I did that, it dawned on me I had two subscribers tell me how to mix my cocoa powder in better. And I just completely forgot about it until it just left my hand. So next time. I promise next time. So work on this a little bit. Let's just work on everything together. This is half a cup of plain flour. That's all it takes is a half a cup. So that's why the points are down. I'm going to cut it into nine. I'm going to bake it in this square. Cut it into nine brownies. So they're not huge, but they're a good size. And they're two points a piece. I don't know if the two eggs, I haven't pointed them out on green yet. I'll, I'll have that up. But up until you get to five, there are true two points a piece. So two, four, six, eight, and then they jump to 11 at five. But Nobody's going to sit down and eat five, five brownies, I hope. So it's a half a cup of plain flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And all you have to do is dump it in. You don't have to do any sifting or nothing like that. Sometimes I do, but for this, you just don't. It's very um, forgiving. Oh, that flour... I wonder what, what causes that. That flour is helping it um, mix in. Y'all see that? Now, we don't want to beat it to death, but 
you do want to get all the dry bits. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna lick that batter and <laughs> see before I even bake it if, if we got a chance. Oh I'd say we got more than a chance. Oh yes. Now give me a spoon. <laughs> What I did was I sprayed it first and then cut a square of parchment paper that'll just help it come up off the bottom. And then all I gotta do is put it in here. Have your oven preheated to 350. Regular recipe bakes 30 to 35 minutes. I'm not sure if this will change or not because I don't have experience baking with sugar substitutes because I've always avoided them mainly because I didn't think I liked the taste. Splenda and whatnot, and then when I found monk fruit, <laughs> I don't like the cost. <laughs> I think I've told you that before. I'm licking that one too. Okay, so we're gonna pop this in the oven, and I'm gonna give them come out and give them time to cool off because I want to taste it for you, and I'm gonna let David taste it too. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, I just wanted to come back for a quick minute. As we come back, I told you when they cooled and we tasted them, but I want to show you this is a half hour. And the toothpick comes out clean. Now, you can see these are not fudgy. The original recipe with the butter and the sugar are fudgy. These are not fudgy. These are going to be cake-like. As long as the taste is there, I'm cool with that. Now, what I want to do to let them cool, see if we can flip these out over here and cool them on this board. Because it will be easier to cut. And the parchment paper should make it easy to release. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, those are scalding hot. So you can see. That's my husband back with supper. <laughs> this is dessert. He worked up supper. I'm working up dessert. So you can see they're not. They, they didn't rise up really thick. Because this is only a half a cup of flour. So it's just a small recipe. Do not double this. I learned years back for some reason. They do not double well. When I, when I tried it in the 9 by 13. It, they just didn't bake right. So, after this cools, we'll be back to um, see how the taste goes. Okay, I let these cool while we were over there eating. I'm going to cut it with the pizza cutter. Okay, well, they cut nice. David's full, but I told him he's going to go ahead and taste anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's check this texture. Okay, well, you know what? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get down here. My light is not too good. Hold on. Because I didn't have them all on. Now, well, can you tell? That is just a touch on the fudgy side. The top is a little dry. But I'm going to pause you a minute and let him taste this. Okay, so <laughs> here is the verdict. He's laying over on the couch, bundled up. we fixing to watch TV and go to sleep. <laughs> That's what we do after we eat. He worked it around his mouth because he's, he's the brownie connoisseur in the family. He goes, well, it's good considering what it's made out of. <laughs> so <laughs> I tasted it. It's not bad. It's not sweet sweet because it's not real sugar and I have said before I don't think the monk fruit is as sweet as regular sugar there is a slight aftertaste not in a bad way but just enough that you can tell there's something different about it the texture it's soft it's not dry it's not fudgy but it's not dry David said to him it tastes and he he knows his fiber one he's had like everything I think fiber one's ever made he said it reminds him the taste and texture of a fiber one brownie. So if that gives you a frame of reference to whether this will be something you might want to try or not. But for two points, I think it's pretty good. Maybe heat it up, put a little chocolate syrup on it, some Cool Whip, some ice cream. Those little um, fiber one brownies that they have now, they're, are those two or three points? I can't remember. But I think comparable size wise so there you have it two point 
brownie that right there if you had that in a bowl of halo top let's see that right there four points put you some two or three points worth of ice cream on it little drizzle of chocolate syrup and you got a nice little dessert right there so if I had ice cream that's what I would do <laughs> that's what I would do so there you have it two point chocolate brownies have a good evening